Nobody ever thinks about God's time management. Isn't that interesting? We're all running around worrying about our schedules. We use technology, we use an old-fashioned schedule book from an office supply store or a staple store, and I love those there because I want my daytimer back. I want my office max book that allows me to schedule my life from 7 in the morning until roughly 9 at night. And I use those many things for years. But I'm guessing that my brother or my sister or some bitch who's a part of my family decided they could just throw it away because what does it matter anymore? It matters to me. It's my right to edit me. It is not your right to edit me. But let's get back to the topic before I get off track with rage. Because rage is not good for my heart today. Rage comes from people who interfered with my medical health, allowing me to have now a heart attack and three strokes. Thanks for that, motherfucker. Thanks for taking me off tea without my consent. Oh, and thanks for impeding my life. But let's get back to the point. The power of God is in His timing. And the power of God in terms of raising people up to better lives with better husbands and better behaving children is God's timing. And when you choose based on selfish loins, and when you choose on based on what's going to be on your arm, and when you choose what you think your life is to be over other people, you choose to live your life in crime, in life, and in sin, and life in poverty.